Hey guys, Mick Mike here in the garage. We're still working on the XXC from uh, after the Foxford ride uh, a weekend ago. Uh, not last weekend, but the one before. I did miss out on the Love Rally last weekend. Heard guys had a great time at it. I had some little guys there. You see those little dirt bikes in the background. I had some little guys that wanted to go rip it up on the dirt bikes, so we did that. And I didn't quite have the XXC uh, quite back together here. First off, I want to thank you guys for watching those two lengthy videos. You can see we had a lot of fun up at Foxford, a lot of mud, um, a few little troubles, but uh, we got everybody out in the end. Worked really well. The Renegade worked awesome. My lights that everybody says I'm going to bash off of trees. They knocked over a few little saplings, but you can see here, cleaned up, they're all still working. Turn them off. I've got nothing for cracked lenses on them. Everything just working spectacular. So anyways guys, I'm still cleaning up and I'm putting a few uh, few accessories on that I picked up from Sean, Original Mods. Again, if you're following Instagram, you would have seen the, the post on that. He's hooked me up with a few samples to try out. And again guys, I've got the clutch cover pulled off. That's how clean the clutches are with my under the pod snorkel. Like I said, there was a couple intense moments there uh, with that, but it still worked out quite well. Clutches are still nice and clean again low gearing in the XXC. you see me pulling uh, the Max out in the second video near the end. It had a couple broken axles, couldn't really go anywhere. The low gear in the XXC, stock clutching, basically still the stock belt, ran spectacular, had the tiger tail going at the end. Uh, so guys, I'm still cleaning up and I'm finding a few hidden, hidden surprises in here. I'm kind of, kind of trying to uh, shoot this video if it's a little rough. It's on my Samsung Edge phone. I'm checking the camera out at the same time, a little bit of a test on it. I'm gonna to try to do this one take, one edit uh, shot here. But anyways, it's a little rough, I apologize. Uh, so again, I hooked up, like I said, with Sean. Uh, original Mods Design, check them out on Facebook. Again, my setup with the mud, I'm running the low pressure gas shocks. I've got his one inch spacer on it here. That's where I'm running with the 30 inch silverbacks. And like I said, I'll put the Fox shocks back on when I go to the back to the trail setup. But this really just gives me the ground clearance that I need to run those 30 inch silverbacks without trimming any fenders or anything like that. So that's one, one item that he hooked me up with. The other one is stainless steel heavy duty tie rods. He makes a really nice tie rod. It's bigger than factory. The tie rods, like I said, from BRP, that is the weak spot on them. The weak link in the steering system, they are made to bend if you hit something hard enough. They do hold up quite well, but you do with the power steering big tires, you can bend them. When you, Anybody that knows when they bend a tie rod in the bush, it makes your quad basically non-movable. Non, you, you can't go anywhere with a wheel that's pointing one direction, one the other way. So it's very hard to get them out of the bush. Now when you upgrade to any tie rod kit, and I've put a few on, a, a few of them have been a little, uh, maybe not quite as good as factory, so I've had my mixed reviews with them. But the stainless steel tie rod that he has machined here is basically the same length, the same threads. Easy to put on, you measure your distance when you put it on. Once you have it on, you can easily set your steering alignment, just like the factory, turning it back and forth and it works just really well. So I'm excited to have those on now that I do have them there. I'm gonna to have to be very careful because if I do hit something hard on the outside here, it's not gonna bend the tie rod. What'll likely happen is that Pitman arm, that little arm that you see it attached to, that little black arm, those will bend or worse yet, I may damage that DPS steering unit. Now that's in extreme circumstances. I'd really have to really be in trouble to do something like that. I think with this tie rod on here, this heavy duty tie rod, I'm gonna be just fine and just be particular where I go. So that's the one accessory I added. We're also playing around again. You guys all know about the heavy duty fuel caps. He's got a really nice heavy duty fuel cap design. Anybody that knows the stock ones, this little ring in here, that little rubber piece can pinch. If you get underwater, you can contaminate your fuel pump. It can get pretty expensive, so he makes a nice little trick shiny looking one here, all anodized, and a nice heavy duty o-ring on it. So we're going to play around with that, fairly easy install. The other component I was putting on again is shifters, all those really nice shifters that he has. 
I'll probably add this guy here because I don't have to add a riser to it. But I was going to put the nice trick billet fair lead on with my synthetic cable on my Warren winch. And really guys with the KI bumper I have to take the bolts out of the winch to add that because it is kind of part of the mount. That's when I was sneaking underneath here and this is what's nice about doing an inspection. I can see I've actually got damage to my winch. My bottom rod, what they call a tie rod, is actually busted if you can see it here with the camera. Also my rope is right full of mud. If I leave that in there it's going to rot out. The next time I use the winch that cable is going to snap. I've been with guys there. That has happened. And the other thing is if you guys watch the video you'll know that I mentioned that my free wheel, was, free wheel wasn't working quite properly. So you know I've got three little issues there that I want to take care of so I'm going to probably end up pulling that worn winch out and taking care of that right now at the same time. The other thing I noticed as I was cleaning again it was a full day job and I still got lots of cleaning and polishing to do under here is that I do have an actual rip boot. You can see it right. Oh, the low light on the Samsung is a little tough to see it, but it is right, right here. Guys, it's just enough that the grease is there. I don't think I got any water in there, so again, I'll get a boot kit from the shop. I'll just remove my swing arm quick. I've got the tools for the bands, and we'll get that fixed up for the next ride. Again, guys, you get a nice shot of the XMR diff upgrade that I have on here. It's a really nice upgrade that I did from day one. And I just feel really confident, especially when I'm pulling somebody or going through that nasty stuff like you see in those previous videos. And just know that your drivetrain is going to hold up. Guys, it was an awesome ride. Like I said, still cleaning up. The one thing I wasn't happy with was my little setup on the back. This is my little jerry can mount. I had a little bag attached to it because there is limited area to store stuff on the Renegade. And you can see right here, I got some pretty nasty scratches in the black plastic. Now if this was the painted plastic like it's coming on a lot of the 2017s next year, probably not such a big issue. I can get this wrapped, but I have the ultimate fix for it. My good buddy Skeg Pirate has hooked me up with some decals. You may have seen these online. Nice little ouch decal right in between the two scratches. And that'll take care of that for now. <laughs> Guys, like I said, this video was a little rough. I just shot it on my Samsung Edge phone that I just upgraded to on the weekend here. And I'm kind of really more checking the how it works uh, uh, as steady as it, as it can be here as I'm doing a little bit of a walk around. I'm stuttering a little bit because I've been talking for eight minutes. And guys, I hope this video helps you out with a few modifications. Again, if you got any questions on this stuff, shoot me a comment here on the channel and I'll... Uh, answer you back answer you back as quick as I can and again I just want to thank all the guys that have hooked me up with the uh, accessories that you see on the Renegade here as I test them out and keep dialing them in and trying to find that perfect combination so again guys thanks for watching and stay tuned